Hey guys, before we start this video, let's start the day off in a nutritious way. This video is going to be about adding some ventilation into my entertainment cabinet. That's where I have all my electronics up there, and it gets really smoking hot. Stay tuned. All right, I did a test. Uh, Close this, these two doors here, and put a thermometer and a little bit higher. And the temperature in there right now is 101 degrees. And then the temperature out here is 86 degrees, so... It's a little bit warmer, and um, I need some ventilation for all these electronics in here. So I'm looking at this, or plastic, plexiglass, and I think I'm going to heat this this caulking up, and there's like little rib ties there to keep it in place, so it should come out pretty easy. And then I'm going to put in some uh, that graded metal for entertainment stands, and then that way, hopefully, it can breathe, and it won't get so hot in there. So I started off using a razor blade and then a flathead screwdriver and just kind of gouged it in there and tried to remove it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work too well, so we're going to move on up to the heat gun. And this makes it a lot easier. It just softens the silicone. And man, I got this thing at Harbor Freight Tools. I couldn't pass it up. It was like $10 for this gun. And it served me well for the few projects I've used it on. Uh, now, okay, that's much better. It's a lot more soft, a lot more pliable, easier to use this box cutter. And now that I've made some cuts in it, it's much easier to use the flathead screwdriver and scoop it out of that chair. And then once I pried those tabs apart, boom, just like that, the plexiglass comes right out. Now that'll provide a whole lot of ventilation for my electronics. Doesn't look that pretty though. So what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to take a break and we're going to eat some hash browns. Wait. Those aren't hash browns. No, no. These are hash browns. Don't get those confused. They look alike, don't they? And then here are some tin snips. And can you guess where I got them? Yes, Harbor Freight Tools. And then I'm just using those to uh, cut. I measured it, obviously. And uh, you can see the black line. Just need to cut on the line, folks. Learn this in first grade. And here we go. Here's the final product. Um, am I happy with it? Eh, it's a little flimsy, but you know what? It solved the problem at hand, and that was ventilation. I'm able to get some fresh air, get the hot air exhausting. So it's not the perfect job, you know, but whatever. It works. It's better than what I had before. So what do you guys think of this? Do you guys like it? If you do, please uh, give me a thumbs up, and I uh, hope this inspired you to, to do something as stupid as I did. Thanks. But wait, there's more, folks. I decided I'd like to put some fans in there, but I only had a 12-volt fan with a cigarette lighter, so I lopped that off with the wire cutter. And then I've got a transformer. I've got a box of these, so I'm just kind of reusing something that I had. I'm just going to connect these two. And this is a really easy thing to do. You just need to make sure that it's 12-volt and uh, that it supplies enough amps for the fan. Um, and here's the fan that I use. Um, never really put it to use in the van, so I'm um, just kind of repurposing it. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. Okay, I got it plugged in here. And uh, yeah, that's a plug. I'm going to stick it in there. Woo, bang. Oh, wow, magic. Isn't that fun? And here it is. Here's the fan. Yeah, looks like, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, looks like it's working. So um, yeah, it's blowing air like it should. And um, but I have a feeling you guys don't trust me on that. So let's get the microphone real close and see if we can actually get that to uh, blow in your ear. Whisper a sweet little nothing in your ear too. Now contrary to the beginning clip here where I ate really healthy, I don't always eat healthy. Have a look. Oh, I sure am hungry. Good thing I got this Lunchables. Just got it from the store. Let's open it up. Take a look. Oh, what's this? got a little furry hamster in there oh yeah that looks really really good yeah Ugh. i think that ham is past its prime which i think was yesterday so you think that they've got it timed perfectly so that they know exactly when mold is going to form i have no idea that was really really gross i'm going to uh think twice before i get lunchables from the convenience store Ugh. so i just got this belt but it's much too long let's go ahead and trim it this belt was under ten dollars, and uh, the instructions say that I can trim it. So I uh, determined there's like seven inches too much. So let's go ahead and cut that off. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's a bit of a rough cut. All right, let's go ahead and 
roast this belt. Carterize the wound. Okay, now you reinsert this high quality plastic buckle. Aw oh, yeah. Oh oh boy Alberto. Isn't that a good looking belt? Nice fit. Great job. What's that noise? It's Tiffany. Hi Tiffany. How are you? Miss you.